This is my new Ninja food processor BN800UK. And I'm gonna put this big boy to the test because I wanna see what's capable of, and I'm pretty sure you want to, so make sure you stay till the end because we're gonna put this through some real cooking scenarios. If you are planning to buy this, this will set you back from 150 to 200 British pounds, but prices are going up and down, so make sure you check the links down below for the latest updates. And just to be clear, right from the beginning, I pay for this, I'm not getting sponsored by anybody, I don't get paid to say anything good or bad, so this is just my honest review when it comes to this food processor. And now let's see what came in the box, because I got rid of the box, we don't really do any unboxing here, we're going straight into real things. So this is the brain of the operation, it's 1200 watts, it's got multiple uh, programs that you can use, it all depends what you want to do, but then it's got auto IQ as well, something that we're going to talk about later. Now, with this, we have the main jug. So this jug is 2,100 milliliters, 2.1 liters. It's got a detachable blade, which I think is really cool in case you need to replace it. Let me actually show it to you. That's how it looks like. Made of plastic. I mean, pretty much this whole thing is made of plastic, but seems durable to me. After that, we've got the food processor again. This is 1.8 liter or 1,800 milliliters. Uh, this has got a detachable blade, which are four blades actually, one, two, three, four. Definitely a lot better than the one I had before. Double the blades, both the jag and the actual food processor, and I think it's gonna do a really good job. Really stable and durable by the looks of it. We'll find out later in more tests. So with this, Again, you can add one of these blades, which is, this is not, this is not a blade that will cut through anything. This is just for pastries, for dough, if you're making any doughs that you can use in these situations. And I think this is really cool to have, although I think this will kind of do similar results, but it's, it's nice that they thought about it, especially considering that they've done it in this price. Now, what we've got next, Again, with the actual uh, food processor, we've got this disc, which is used either for slicing, this side will be for slicing, but the other would be for grating. So it's all up to you what you're using it for, and depending on the situation, you're gonna use one or the other. Uh, this is gonna go in like this. Let me actually show you. We're gonna get to it in a minute, but I just kind of wanna show you where you place it. So. This is now ready for grating, but then if you do it the other way around, it's ready for slicing. So it all depends what you wanna do and depending on the situation you wanna use it. Now, last but not least, we've got the shaker or the shaker maker. This is 710 milliliters. I think it's just uh, perfect for, the size is just perfect, the blade, they have like four or even six blades here from what I can see. Let me show you here what you've got. The whole weight of these items is 4.3 kilograms. I'm not sure if that matters much to you, but just so it gives you an idea of how uh, much weight we've got here on the table, that's what we've got, 4.3 uh, kilograms. Now, when it comes to the build quality, this is mainly plastic, but don't get me wrong, this is not that uh, bad of a plastic. I mean, it feels durable, it feels strong, quite thick if you ask me. And I think it's gonna do a good job on every now and then use. The blades, which I was talking about earlier, I think they are well made, stainless steel. They saying, you know, that it should uh, last uh, a thousand ice cycles. So basically you should be able to, to blend these a thousand times with ice, but not the food processor, I'm talking this. But then in general, these blades should last a long time considering that they are made to go through ice. Now we'll find out in a minute because I wanna put this to the test, even to the ice test, see if he's actually doing this job. Four blades, and this one actually has even like, I can say six. So definitely a lot better than my previous food processor, which was Kenwood. Obviously the price of that one was a lot lower, but this one has double the blades and I think it's gonna be just great because obviously double the blades, more uh, chopping power in my, from my point of view. This has four, this has actually six. So six blades on this one, they feel really durable, they're stainless steel. Uh, we'll find out obviously when it comes to it, whether they're doing good or bad. The plastic one, nothing really to say about. This is not made to 
uh, cut through anything. This is just dough, pastry and stuff like that. So this should probably last a lot longer than the others, mainly because I'm not gonna use it that much. Uh, I had one of these with my previous um, blender, but I think this is just better. It feels like thicker than the other one. Plus the slicing part, which is obviously one is slicing, one is grating. The slicing part just feels stronger and thicker and I think it's gonna be better in time. This has got 21,000 rotations per minute, and I guess this is the highest speed because it's got low, medium, high, plus it's got all the programs with the auto IQ. Now, what's the auto IQ? So it's more of a like three or four, so how many programs we've got here? One, two, three, four, five programs uh, that you can use depending on the situation. You should basically just, if let's say you want blend, then you have blending program. If you have uh, max blend and obviously that's gonna be still a blend but then just probably like a higher speed and these two I think are only working with the big jag and the others because that's another thing you can't really use all these programs on all these uh, blenders or jags so that's what the auto IQ does it kind of like detects in a way what you have here and it kind of adjusts the speed or the program according to your needs but you can definitely do this manual since you've got these three at the bottom here, or four actually at the bottom, medium, low, high, and pulse. So if you wanna go manual, if you wanna have that luxury, which to be honest, I'm probably gonna use that one most, instead of like going and have a machine thinking for me, how do I want my vegetable chopped? So that's probably what I'm gonna use, but then it's totally up to you. If you wanna take advantage of, of that auto IQ, you can definitely do so. So let's put this big boy to the job. Let's put it into some real cooking scenarios, see if it's up for the job and see if it's worth buying or not. So what are the pros and cons when it comes to this food processor from Ninja? In my opinion, having it made of plastic is not that big of a deal and a big of a downside, but it can be depending on how much you use it. Obviously, this is 150 to 200 pounds, although it is quite a lot when it comes to food processors and especially when I'm talking expensive food processors, you know, 500, 1000 or even over 1000. If you think about that, this is kind of cheap. So you cannot really have it made out of metal, fully metal or some really, really durable plastic. So it's made of plastic. And from what I heard from other people and what I could see on the internet doing a bit of research, the spinning wheels inside, people were complaining that are made of plastic. Well, this can be a problem if you use it like every single day. If you are one of those people that you cannot really live without a food processor and eat it every single day, probably you need to look elsewhere. If you want this to be a real workhorse, probably it's not the best idea. But for someone that's using it every now and then, like even myself, you know, I don't use it every single day or if I use it once a day, that in theory, at least in my opinion, it should be fine. But consider that when you're buying it. Another con, which is not really a con because if you want power, you're gonna have noise. And this is 1,200 watts and it's pretty strong in my opinion. And for what you're using in day-to-day -day cooking, I think it's just perfect. But 
The power obviously come, comes with noise, no matter which brand you're gonna buy, I think it's still gonna be kind of like on the noisy side, especially when you have it like that powerful. It has multiple speeds and programs, especially the Auto IQ, if you wanna use it, if you are into that, if you wanna have the machine thinking kind of for you. I don't see myself using it that much because I'm more of a like guy that wants to have everything kind of manually uh, adjust. So I'm gonna go probably low, medium, high, and pulse. But if you want those options up here, so I think it's a plus. Another pro, which is not something that just Ninja does, is this shaker or shaker maker, because obviously you can use it with the blade first to do your thing, whatever you're adding, just kind of like blending. And after that, add this on top and just have it on the go. And I think it's really cool that they've done this. Now, what I also like about this blender is the replaceable blades. I'm not sure how long they're gonna last. They look durable, they look pretty strong and sharp at this point but at least I know that I can replace them. Other blenders, they don't have this option. With these, you can replace them, and after that, just kind of like get on with it. Another pro, in my opinion, is the 1,200 watts power engine, if I can call it that way, because at this speed and at this power, what this can produce is something absolutely amazing. If you need to blend the soup, you can definitely do so at really high speed and get it really nice and pureed. Same when you wanna make a puree, let's say, or if you wanna make a a smoothie, that's no problem. If you wanna crush some ice in here, that's fine. It does that job as well. So 1,200 watts is definitely enough for my needs. So I'm really happy with what I've got here. Now the question is, would I recommend this BN800 UK blender from Ninja, which is three in one, which is crushing ice, he's doing all sorts of things. Well, the idea is simple. If you're looking for something light, well, not light in terms of like the weight overall, it's just kind of like using it today, tomorrow, three days after, four days after, and so on, uh, not at a high capacity and not blending crazy things every single day, that's probably the right uh, machine for you. Because in this range, 150 to 200 pounds, I don't really see any other blender doing that good of a job. There might be, let me know in the comments down below, especially when you get it at a hundred, around 150, and I've seen it even lower than that, because I bought it from Amazon Warehouse, so you can get some sort of deals there, you can get it like even closer to 100, and then it's definitely unbeatable at that price. So if you're interested in buying one of these, make sure you check the affiliate links down below. These are not getting me rich or anything like that, but are definitely helping the channel to produce more content like this, and more cooking, because if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm doing simple recipe every single week, so make sure you check the simple recipes on my channel and I will see you in the next one and subscribe to the channel and bye, bye, bye.